There are many forms of it. We constantly hear about it and 50% of people will get some form of it during their lifetime. So what is cancer? Well since the start of this video over 1 million of your cells have died and in order for you to not fall apart your body has to replace these dead cells. Inside most cells there is a nucleus that contains DNA. The DNA controls what the cell does and one of the functions is to tell the cells when to divide and how often to divide. This is the cell cycle. If you put a normal cell in culture, it will continue to make copies of itself until it fills up the area. And if one of these cells dies, then the cell close by will copy itself to fill the space. This is the foundation of life and how you went from being a zygote to the person you are now. It's also how your body can heal itself and replace cells. So cells in your body are constantly dying, but you're also constantly making cells to balance it out. Cells however do not divide infinitely. After a certain number of divisions, the cells undergo apoptosis, which is cell suicide. This is where cancer comes in. There are dozens of different types of cancers, but fundamentally they are all the result of damage to DNA, mutations, that tells the cells when to make a copy of itself and when to stop and undergo apoptosis. Cells normally react to signals which tell them if they need to divide or if they need to stop. Cancer cells however do not listen to these signals, so they keep dividing no matter how crowded it gets. They are essentially immortal and as long as they have enough nutrients they will keep dividing, leading to tumours. There are two types of tumours. If the abnormal cells are restricted to one area, then it's called benign. This is not cancer. However, if it spreads, then this is a malignant tumour, and this is cancer. These types of tumours can spread into other parts of the body, depending on where they are. If they get into the circuitry system, then they can move to virtually any and multiple parts of the body. This is a very dire situation. Cancers are typically named based on the parts of the bodies they are found in. All of us will have mutations in ourselves, but normally the body can deal with them before it gets out of hand. However, certain things can increase the number of mutations that can lead to cancer. Things like smoking, obesity, UV damage, certain infections, radiation and many more. The genetic changes that lead to cancer affect three main types of genes. These are proto-oncogenes, tumor suppressor genes and DNA repair genes. Proto-oncogenes are involved with normal cell growth and division. So if these are damaged, this can lead to cells being able to grow abnormally. Tumor suppressor genes work to slow down cell division and tell cells to undergo apoptosis. And finally, DNA repair genes work to fix damaged DNA. So if they're affected, cells can accumulate mutations which can lead to cancer. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.